here with Music Marketing TV. Today we're looking at Acon Digital's AI trained dialogue extractor. It uses AI wizardry to pull the dialogue out of scenes where it might be contending with other sources of noise. So you can turn down the ocean waves and turn up your voice. You could turn down the noise in the background, buzzing, humming, all that kind of stuff. So I have here a clip from back in the college days where I was explaining an experiment, but there's just a lot of people talking in the background and it forms this noise floor that's just, at times it's hard to contend with. So here's what it sounds like. Just give this a quick listen. And I also recommend using headphones just for the extra detail, but here we go. Because of that, there'll be two spots for, for a system like this where it'll focus. So this is one and it results in magnet. So you could hear just a bunch of talking and stuff going on in the background, not so great. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this on. Now by default, the default settings in this case aren't gonna do you know, the best job, but this is what it sounds like. Because of that, there'll be two spots for, for a system like this where it'll focus. So this is one and it results in magnification. So already a huge improvement. So we could actually improve it a bit further, but massive improvement. So we've got a couple of controls here. So when you're going through, you may notice occasionally uh, parts where transients occur. I, I say things like with the T or an X or an S, they might get filtered out a bit and that's because the AI just sees it a little bit as noise. So in order to combat this, you can actually bring up the maximum attenuation. This limits how much it's allowed to turn down. So if, if we turn this all the way up, it can't turn down the, the background noise at all. So you don't want it this high, but just to show you. Because of that, there'll be two spots for, for a So, you know, we're contending against everything and we can bring this down. And usually I look for a spot if, if one does pop up where it might filter out stuff I don't necessarily want filtered out and I'll just sort of tune this to there. I find in this one though, I can take it down pretty far and it's fine. Because of that, there'll be two spots for, for a system like See right there on spots. So maybe I bring this up some. Because of that, there'll be two spots for, for a system. Because of that, there'll be two spots for, for a system like this. And maybe we bring it up a bit further, clean up the word spots. Because of that, there'll be two spots for, for a system like this. So there's two other controls, big ones that we have available to us. The first one is sensitivity, and the next one is the actual filters in here itself. And we're gonna see if we can get spots a little bit cleaner by touching some of these things. So sensitivity is pretty much exactly what it says, how sensitive it is to the input. And I don't have like a deep knowledge of exactly what it means other than I try a high one and a low one and see if I get you know, the results I want. If you go down all the way, of course, this is gonna be a lot more noisy because it's gonna do way less. Because of that, there'll be two spots for, for- So perhaps we could get a little more aggressive with the turn down and bring it down. And sometimes that's a solution. Because of that, there'll be two spots for, for a system like- That's a little bit cleaner, but I, I'm not really looking for that as a result there. The noise in the background is still a little high. And then we could, of course, bring it up. If you go too high, everything just tends to get filtered. There's like a- a very thin quality to it. Because of that, there'll be two spots for, for a system like this where it'll focus. I mean, my voice is pretty much all that survives. And if we solo up the noise to hear what it's taking out. So, I mean, that's, it's pretty crazy. So, of course, I think the solution here is to back it off a smidge. Because of that, so be two spots for, for a system like this where it'll focus. So this is one and it was because of that, so be two spots for, for a system like this where it'll focus. That's pretty dang good. Now there is one other thing we can do to really pump it up to a hundred. Uh, you can add in these filters. Now it looks like an EQ, but what it does is it, it's basically like sensitivity in a range. So you can make one region get processed much more heavily than another region. So in this case, I've got my voice, it's sitting down here, so I might have it process the low ends a little bit more, since there's gonna be a lot of noise there, and the high end a little bit more. And unless I notice something in the middle, I might actually dip it if it's doing something I don't like in a region. Uh, but for the most part, it's already pretty good. Let's just hear if we bump up this processing some, how that goes. Because of that, there'll be two spots yeah. for, for a system like this where it'll focus. So this is one and it results in magnification. 
And the other one is, it's kind of crazy. It was way up here. Because of that, there'll be two spots for, for a system like this where it'll... Yeah, maybe we don't touch the middle band. I think it's already fine kind of where it's at. And the high band as well, I'm not going to be as touchy with it. The low band, though, that's fine. I can, I can be higher. Because of that, there'll be two spots for, for a system like this where it'll focus. So this is one and it results in magnification. So let's do a before and after now. So, of course, I'm taking my time setting all this up, listening for every single thing. But it's a pretty quick process. So I'm going to turn off this middle filter since we're not using it. Uh, so here it was before. Because of that, there'll be two spots for, for a system like this where it'll focus. And then after. Because of that, there'll be two spots for, for a system like this where it'll focus. And then, of course, you saw you can adjust things however you want. But a much, much cleaner result. Uh, something that is a lot easier to tell the voice, especially from the background, when it really you know, rises in volume there for a little while. And that's the dialogue extractor. If you have any questions about this, feel free to let me know. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day.